Hello everybody, Minestorm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron for Old World Blues. In the last episode, we finished our absorption of the Rapids. So we were able to annex them. And we just now need to like resettle that area to get cores on there so we can get rid of the resistance. Hopefully. And, um... Yeah. That went fairly well. And we also need to get our economy up and going. And it is because that is what is blocking us from doing a bunch of things. Like improving our military, you know, manpower and a few other things. So that is going to be another major goal here is to get the boneyard built up so that we can improve our overall economy and uh yeah <laughs> lennis's cohort continues to absorb more and more and more neighbors and uh we'll have to see how everything goes so might as well go ahead and get it going All right, basic smeltery is now done. Let's see, this is all ahead of time. That's not ahead of time. Flexible designs. Uh, conversion speed bonus, energy cell gain per energy. I'm not sure that's very necessary right now. Is there anything that'll do, a, do better? Construction speed and factory repair speed. I think that'll be better for us. Oh. Another thing you might have already noticed. Um, I made some more alterations to the music. We now also have uh, Europa Universalis 4 and Victoria 2 music uh, mixed in as well. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully that'll, you know, take care of the music issues that I've uh, been having the last few episodes. So. Uh-huh. Probably should take a look at all of our other templates. Oh, we have free civilian factories. Um, what should we go for? Energy cell capacity. Now, how do I know how much energy I have? Ah. Here it is, it's a resource. Nothing is really consuming it right now. What are our resources, by the way? I haven't really looked at this. Water, okay, energy, right? Scrap metal, composite materials, circuitry, all right, and advanced components. All right. I don't think we need to build any power stations. And we're kind of good as far as all of our resources is concerned. We did begin unlocking air, but we don't look like we have any actual air bases. So, perhaps I should. I don't know if we want to do 10. Let's get three stages of airfields built there. We do have one here. Let's, let's get a couple more there. Building inflicts an attack penalty of minus 8% for each fort level uh, in the attacker. Only attacker in combat. Attacking from multiple directions will reduce fort's effect.
we may want to get some of those built up over here. Okay. At least give our, uh, our civilian workshops something to do for a little bit. Jackson Brotherhood took three states of Carthaginians was annexed. The Texan Brotherhood declared war on the Desperados. Agency upgraded, steel technology. Invisible ink. Okay. Now we have 50%. I would like to infiltrate their army. Yeah, let's prepare that. It's prepared. Commence. Boners become home of the chop shop. You can now get scrap motorcycles, salvage motorcycles. Salvage car, wasteland car, scrap gun truck. All right. Currently short a lot of guns. We can get some common ballistic weaponry. Unit of Austin took one state's crusher's army was annexed, okay? What is it? More motorized. Barrage balloons. What does that lead to? Biplane fighters. Monoplane fighters. Jet fighters. Nuclear jet fighters. Uh, this route goes triplane, monoplane attackers. Those are, I guess, ground assault vehicles. Jet attack planes. Nuclear powered. Airplane bomber, rotary engine, jet bomber, nuclear jet bomber. Um, vertebrates in here? Yeah, there you go. Motorized flight. Let's get our barrage balloons. And we are actually building gliders. We now have scrap bots we can make. I don't think we have anything that actually uses scrap bots. Um, I guess I'll queue it in. And we'll start to stockpile them. Payload bomb gliders. Okay. Now, do I actually own? Caesar's Legion has joined Caesar's Legion. In interesting. first glider squadron There's only one glider right now but that'll change the Texan Brotherhood annex the Desperados honor to speak with you sir all right more infantry
Let's research dynamite, which we have not. In progress, 31st of December, 2276 is when it's going to be done. So, two months. Pounds of day took two states. Dry blowers was annexed. All right, rapid settlements. That's now done. Got some dockyards. A couple dockyards. All right, now that that is done. Scouring the old city. All right, let's do that. What are our options here? Production boosted gun runners. Dismantle scavenger. No, we're not going to dismantle the scavenging program. Let's request followers aid. Petition for followers technology. All right. Ask the followers to help settlements. Our follower agricultural experts. Okay, well, we'll, we'll hit all those. All right, higher profile. Done. Thanks. Uh, 0.15 years ahead of time. Oh, that's nothing. Go ahead and get simple tracks. So our new outposts are coming along. No enemy cipher is being decrypted. Let's see if we can get a legion cipher. 4,798 days. Well, we'll see. All right. There's our bombard, our barrage balloons. I guess we'll go ahead and grab motorized flight as well. Concentrated assault. Also, might want to start thinking about improving our ships. Though the major enemies that we're going to be fighting, I don't look like they're going to be naval powers, so I'm not sure how much of a important that's going to be. Alright, hold on just a second. Uh, motorized deployment. Grab that. The city of Los Angeles once held some of the greatest technology and people in all of the old world, and the acquisition of these pieces of technology and information could vastly improve the quality of life in the Boneyard and the NCR on the whole. 
What secrets can we find in the old city and how might they benefit the greatest nation of the new world? Old world machines, old world theaters, old world armor. And technology that increases your army's attack and defense in urban terrain. Grants national spirit old world machines with grants max factories in the state. Construction speed. Recruitment population factor, war support. Attack and defense and urban terrain. How much urban terrain are we going to be fighting in? I think in the long run, the recruitable population factor and war support are going to be the better options. Yeah, we'll take that. Let's see. The Bear Port adds two air bases, an arms workshop, and two building slots in the boneyard. Alright. Boneyard can level up to three. All right, promote the node. The white legs declared war on the timekeepers. All right, watch out for spies is done. Anti-partisan. Woodworking is done. Clay working. What do we got? Tribal huts. Military to civilian factory conversion cost. Factory bomb vulnerability. Energy cell capacity. What's this? Work camps. Resource gain efficiency plus 8%. Um, Improvise tools. Scavenge tools. Construction speed. Resource gain efficiency. We don't really need that necessarily just yet. We're not converting factories. We're not being bombed. We're not really using energy cells. Max factories in the state. Production efficiency cap. Production efficiency growth. Factory output. Dockyard output. Recruitable population factor. Max factories in the state. Production efficiency retention. Production efficiency base. Um, I like that. Let's get that work as needed. Of the ongoing wars. So it was only two. It's the white leg aggression for something. Old country aggression. The old country and the rot purgers. White legs and the timekeepers. The old country and the rot purgers. All 
right, yeah, let's take a look at our um, militia forces. We're not really using those. Our troopers. We got them up to the appropriate combat width. Um, we have recon. We could add anti-tank and demolitions. Uh, what are we not making? Demolitions equipment. I don't even think we have that. Barrage balloons. Okay, well, we'll have to look into getting that. Demolitions equipment. Um, can I buy it from anybody? No. Um, available planes reserve. We have bomb gliders in reserve. Okay, so we'll have to see about setting up a bomber squadron. Um, the rangers. Anti-tank. I'd like to bring these guys up to 10 width. Anti-tank, recon. Um... Fire teams. I'm gonna put us over the special forces limit. What if I canceled that? No, I'd have to disband. Okay, so I can't do anything with the special forces yet. Oh, that's kind of silly, but oh well. You have maintenance, fire teams, recon, and we can add any tank to there. I don't know if we're going to be seeing any tanks, but we might as well. Rioters. Light robot divisions. Uh, let's... Bring them down to 10 width. And some recon. And some anti tank. It uses scrap bots, infantry equipment to support anti tank rifles. Do we have any tank rifles? Okay, well, let's, uh, let's start adding some light robots to the mix. Why not? All right, our infiltration is complete. But the first attempt dashed by high waves. The second attempt, landing attempt the next day was met with success. Okay, well. All right, we have army infiltration now. Good. We'll go ahead and get that intel network rebuilt. Yeah, we do have any tank rifles. A lot of them, actually. Um, all right, so we got the bear port. That gives us to air base and an arms workshop. Roads to day glow. All right, we're just going to develop of our trade nodes. Radio interception group. Let's grab that.
Okay. Oh, right, right. We need to uh, set up a bummer. Bomb gliders. There we go. Our first bomber squadron. We have now 16 fighter gliders and seven bomber gliders. All right. All right, we now have motorized flight. I can get biplane fighters. And they are capable of being launched from carriers. All right. Radio interception group. Oh, this includes the Christmas stuff? Okay. Um. Government Cypher School. Oh, actually, um, simple tracks. Okay. There's some research done. Where is our demolitions equipment? One point three years ahead of time. Militia training, additional plating. Support. Dynamite. Yeah. Yeah, we'll burn some experience. Alright, roads to day glow is done. Republic Reserve. Two civilian workshops. One thing I'm probably going to do is queue in some more military, some more uh, dockyards. Uh, what's this? Mole rats have infested the underbelly of Sac City. We aren't sure how they made their nest undetected, but at least six people have been partially eaten so far. Only a man named Jeremy has died so far, despite being a banker. His death has caused an outcry, and people are leaving. Where are the raiders when you need them? Mole rat damage for 60 days. In Sac City? Okay. What is it? What do we got? More infantry? Yeah. The White Legs took seven states. The Timekeepers was annexed. Okay. Development project. Restore the Rancho Seiko NGS. I need more dollars. We're burning a lot of our dollars on... I have NCR dollars. What's the issue? Oh, I need more. 76,000 more. Okay. Yeah, the thing is we're spending a lot of, of our dollars. Council Day declared war on the Black Canyon. Alright. Well, government sign for school. We're still working on that. 
Maybe we should uh, calm down on the uh, the intelligence agency for the time being to save up some money. All right, but I think this is the end of the episode, so I'll go ahead and stop here for today. And we're going to keep building things up. Keep working through here to get all is good in the boneyard. And then we'll see how everything else goes. And to make some decisions about Baja as well. Do we integrate them or not? Hmm. Well, we'll see. But for now, we'll stop here. So if you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.